Easy Mini Muffin Pizzas. Well, the title said it all. Mm. Seriously, that is perfect. Now, we're not having the whole should pineapple be on a pizza debate, or are we? I'm Shuey, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to barbecue some easy mini muffin pizzas. Now, these are loved by big and little kids alike. These are the perfect snack food. Super tasty and easy to make. So sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna to be using my 57 centimeter Weber kettle, and I'm gonna be pairing it up with a kettle cone because I wanna be cooking at temperatures of 240 degrees Celsius and above today. And how I'll do this is I'll three quarter fill a chimney starter with briquettes and light them up. And once they're ashed over, I'm going to dump them into the kettle cone. Then I'll pop the grill back in place and pop the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. And I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. If you don't own a Weber or a kettle cone, any hooded barbecue, even your oven will do, as long as you can get it to temps of 240 degrees Celsius. Now we need our mini pizza bases or English muffins. Easy enough to prep, just split them in half. Now, these will get eaten quickly, so make sure you grab a few packets. You can buy pizza sauce in a squeezy bottle now. No mess, no fuss, just squeeze some on each muffin half and spread it around with the back of a spoon. Now, if you do want to change it up, you could add some barbecue sauce to the base. Now, I won't be doing that, and I'm not gonna judge you if you do. Time for cheese and mozzarella is our go-to choice. Because it has such a melting, stretchy capability, it is perfect for pizzas. Now don't pile it on, otherwise the base will tend to get soggy as you cook it. How easy is this? Nearly as easy as liking this video. Now onto the toppings. This is where we get to be creative and we can put whatever we like on top. Peri peri flavored chicken and some green capsicum and mushroom, chorizo, bacon and diced onion. Let's not forget ham and pineapple. Now, we're not having the whole should pineapple be on a pizza debate, or are we? Let me know in the comments, should pineapple be on a pizza? Or the old favorite, pepperoni. Now the list of toppings you could use is endless. My advice, if you like it, throw it on. It's time to get these mini muffin pizzas on the Weber. Now just place them around the edge of the cooking grate because this is where that high indirect heat gets forced. Pop the lid on and set a timer for 10 minutes. Now, normally when cooking with a kettle cone, I'll spin the lid about a third of the way every 10 to 15 minutes when doing a half hour to 45 minute cook. But for such a small cook, I don't bother. It makes no difference. Cheers. Today, I'm cooking with a high indirect heat of 240 degrees Celsius and above. And this cook's only gonna take around about 10 minutes. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a one beer cook. Get drinking, time's running out. That's it, 10 minutes is up. Your drink should be empty now. So we can get these little mini muffin pizzas off the heat now. Now just remember, melted cheese burns, so, Resist the urge to dig in straight away. Or at least grab a fresh drink to put out the fire if you can't wait to dig in. Surely by now you've subscribed to the channel. And while you're there, hit that bell button. By hitting the bell button, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, they should be right to eat now. It is the simple things in life that are the best. Seriously, that is perfect. Eating this good should be illegal. That's it, mini muffin pizzas. As always, cheers for watching.